Hi, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the uh, RALS ADF test in Gauss. This test is used when your data has, uh, data has non-normal errors, means data is not normal. So it will lead to uh, uh, develop use of unit 2 test, which can be uh, used on non-normal data. So for that, this is a Gauss function that requires a library that's name is TSPDLIB. So for that, you need to know how to install it. So I searched it online. So it is said that you have to download this file uh, from uh, Gauss website. So I've got the link. So first of all, I will download it. So it is shown here. The folder is downloaded. So I will copy that folder. And then I will come back and see what's the next step. In the next step, you have to go in uh, application in the Gauss, uh, select tools and install application from the Gauss menu. So go in the Gauss menu, you will go in tools. So you go in tools, go in install application, and then give the directory of the installed uh, downloaded plugin. So this is the here. So I will give and press install. So it will continue installing. And when it is completed, it will say finish. So when I finish it, so it will install that library. Now I'll go back to the commands and I will load this library into the in the command window. I will go here at the bottom and I will write library tspdlib semicolon. When I run it, it will load the library. Okay, then the next function we will run it one by one. Once the library is uh, loaded using the uh, using the install application then you have to go to application manager and that it will first ask to install it if you have the registered version you will get the uh, credentials otherwise uh, it will install the the backend uh, functionalities for uh, for those so once since it, it is installed it will say installation succeed after that, you have to do is that it will load how many libraries or uh, packages are already installed. Then uh, let it load and then you will see that you can go in here at addition and then the library that you loaded, TSP DLIB will be in the bottom since I have already installed. But what you can do is click it and install. Similarly, if you have loaded any other libraries, so like Contel integration, you can just install it. And, and then it will uh, install in the background and then when it is installed it will say uh, installation complete so it's a third third step is going on so installation is done so this way you have that library loaded in your uh, in your those repository packages now we will uh, show you how to do that RALS unit 2 test so first of all you have to go into import data you have to import one variable which is time series or time series data then you will select one variable from the command so, so let's suppose you have imported a data where there are uh, uh, more than uh, one variables so you have to skip this file so import options header row 2 so header row 0 so so that the data goes to first row okay then when you import the data you can you can make uh, more if you have more than one variable in it you can separate it like x is equal to uh, bracket open dot comma one so this will make x variable which is first column in the in the data so uh, you have to write the data name so uh, up y so this way you will make another variable where it's first column of the data so this way you will uh, select the variable now you have to load the library. It should be loaded first. Uh, TSP DLIB, and then the command that uh, seen uh, that is shown is on the R Studio is this one. So I will copy this command and come back to R. So I will write it here. So my Y is the dependent variable, one variable, and then this is the model. So when I run it will show me the RALS, uh, RALS EDF test. So this is the time series uh, test and it will give you uh, that the, the, the test value is this and the critical values are this. So null hypothesis is uh, data is unit root. So 
it is smaller than the, the critical value, so data is non-stationary. So this way, you can do the RALS ADF unit 2 test.